Dr. Kelly Wilson is a biblical scholar and has taught in the theology department at the University of St. Thomas for years. She is also gay. And until last month, those three truths were never challenged or grouped together, she says, on campus. Seven years after coming out, this is the first time it's come up even. It came up when a man came to school and handed out flyers calling for her to be fired. He included her picture and a picture of her family, including her young kids. This isn't new to me that I would get some pushback from some people. I just never knew that it would include a picture of my kids as evidence of why I should be fired. She said as it was happening, she got a call from campus police. I think public safety's concern was that this was the first time he was targeting an individual and used pictures of their family. Kelly said almost immediately she was supported from her students, some faculty. She even got a call, she said, from the dean. But in the hours after, she said she felt the need to do something. I just thought the best way to respond to somebody like this is to support those systems that he's trying to break down. She started a fundraiser for Dignity Twin Cities, an organization that advocates for gay Catholics, of which she is a proud one. For me, I find deep and profound beauty in the church. And, and for me, there's enough. There's enough there that gives me hope that the church, although it moves slowly, um, it moves towards justice. Uh, I believe, you know, in a God that moves towards inclusivity and, and, and love. She raised a few thousand dollars and then a colleague thought, what if they asked one of the most outspoken Catholic priests in the nation to give a talk about inclusion for gay Catholics to the St. Thomas community. He said yes. He is Father James Martin. The Catholic Church teaches that LGBT people are to be treated with respect, compassion, and sensitivity. Father Martin's following is worldwide, and in the hundreds of thousands, if not more, he holds a relationship with Pope Francis and his rebuke of what that man with those flyers at St. Thomas did is not vague. The idea that people would be protesting and as I understand it, passing out pictures of her children yeah. is, uh, is let's use a word that needs to be brought back into the discussion, which is cruel. And that is certainly something that is not part of Catholic teaching. It's not part of the Christian world. It's not part of what Jesus asks us to do. Sometimes I like to say that these people are so Catholic, you know, these protesters that they forget about being Christian. Father Martin's daily homily is clear. Treat gay Catholics with dignity and respect. But he is not saying immediately change church teaching. Will the church ever change its stance on marriage? Well, I'm not gonna challenge the church's teaching on same-sex marriage. Um, what I do hope that the church uh, sees is the importance of listening to the experience of LGBTQ people. Uh, you know, in whom God is alive and active, and not seeing them as uh, the other. As for Kelly, not ever resigned to being an other in the pew, she says in her view, it's not being gay or being Catholic. It is being gay and being Catholic. You don't have to pick being gay or being Catholic. These are not either or uh, moments or, or decisions. What it is 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 I believe that I am being my authentic self. I believe that that is what my church asked me to do. I believe that's what my script, the scriptures asked me to do and what God expects of me. Um, and this is where I find my home in the Catholic church. The University of St. Thomas released a statement about what happened. It reads in part, when we found out about this latest incident, we reached out to offer our full support to Dr. Wilson. We also sent a university-wide communication rejecting this man's hateful message and reaffirming our commitment to an inclusive environment for our LGBTQA community members. This is consistent with Catholic teaching, which calls on us to love and care for every person as Pope Francis reminds us, quote, God has created all human beings equal in rights duties and dignity. So why are we talking about this now? Father James Martin, the priest you heard from in the story, will be giving a talk tomorrow night, as I mentioned. 
It is hosted by St. Thomas, and it's about including LGBTQ Catholics more fully on Catholic college campuses. It's free and it's online. If you want to check it out, send me an email. I will send you the registration page for the event tomorrow night at 7. My email's right there on the screen.